This is All India Radio Shillong, the Northeast News Bulletin, read by Arundhati Paul. President Ramnath Kovind has greeted the nation on the occasion of Eid Miland Un Nabi, the birthday of Prophet Muhammad. In a message, Kovind extended his good wishes to all fellow citizens, especially to Muslim brothers and sisters. Kovind said everyone should learn and get inspired from the life of Prophet Muhammad and his works by spreading his message of universal brotherhood and compassion. Union Minister for Water Resources Gajendra Singh Shekhawat said proper utilization of water resources in the Northeast can transform the lives of the people and economy of the region. Chairing the 10th meeting of the high-powered review board of the Brahmaputra board in Guwahati, the Union Minister said the board should work with a scientific approach to ensure successful implementation of projects in the region. Both the Brahmaputra and Barak valleys are high priority areas for the ministry and the Brahmaputra board requires to be strengthened to be able to meet the needs and challenges of the northeastern states, he said. Urging the officials to work as facilitators, Shekhawad hoped that the Brahmaputra board will turn the challenges like flood and erosion into opportunities for economic growth with cooperation from all stakeholders. Minister of State for Water Resources, Dhatan Lal Kataria, said the state governments of the region with support from the center are implementing various projects related to water resources. The main focus is to complete ongoing projects and schemes on time so that the northeastern states are benefited from them. Assam Chief Minister Saibananda Sonowal has recruited 248 differently abled persons in grade 3 posts in state government departments. Sonowal handed over the appointment letters to the newly recruited staffers at a program organized by the State Social Welfare Department in Guwahati. Speaking on the occasion, the Chief Minister said, the differently abled persons are an integral part of the society and the state government is committed to their well-being. He hoped the newly appointed employees would work with sincerity and give their best. The Assam government has launched Dindayal Divyang Sahaja scheme under which 1.51 lakh differently abled persons were provided with 5,000 rupees one-time financial assistance last year, Sonowal said. The chief minister said at present differently abled persons in the state are being provided with financial assistance of 1,000 rupees per month. Nisaram government has decided that the ongoing brew repatriation process should be the last one and no more such exercises will be carried out. Over 4,000 brew displaced families lodged in the relief camps in North Tripura district are scheduled to return to neighboring Mizoram during the repatriation process which commenced on October 3rd and is scheduled to be completed by November 30th. A meeting of the Mizoram Council of Ministers held yesterday decided not to conduct another repatriation exercise of brews after completion of the ongoing repatriation process. Along with the rest of the country, Meghalaya is upscaling activities relating to the implementation of Pradhan Mantri Ujwala Yojana. The aim of the PMUY scheme is to provide clean fuel cooking to women below the poverty line. The government of Meghalaya is making all-out efforts to provide LPG connections to all the BLP families in the state, so that the target of the Prime Minister Modi to provide LPG connections to five crore households in the country is achieved by the end of 2019. Since the launch of the scheme, more than 2.35 crore beneficiaries have been provided with LPG connections. Large number of BPL households in Meghale are availing the scheme because it is found to be very useful, economically viable and saves a lot of time for cooking. The 14th edition of Wine Festival was held in Shillong with the objective of creating a wider platform for the indigenous winemakers. The event was participated by winemakers from across the state with the display and sale of varieties of locally made wine. The convener of the Wine Festival, Michael C.M., said that he anticipates that in the coming years more such platforms will be created for the budding entrepreneurs and generate bigger market opportunities. CM also opined that through a proper and holistic intervention, local brewed wines will witness higher demands among the domestic consumers. The winemakers also try to ensure 
that no preservatives are added to the beverages to encourage consumption among the health enthusiasts and some of the homemade brands have also received FSSAI certification. The annual Eucharistic procession of Shillong Archdiocese will be held at the Cathedral of Mary Help of Christians, Shillong. In keeping with his promise to late Archbishop Dominic Jala, His Eminence Cardinal Charles Bo, Cardinal of Myanmar, will be the main celebrant at the Holy Mass to be held at 10 a.m. Four bishops of the Northeast and many other priests will also be co-celebrant at the Holy Mass. The Eucharistic procession will commence at 1.30 p.m. and will conclude with a benediction at the Calvary. And with that, we end the Northeast News Bulletin from All India Radio, Shillong. Have a nice day.